Hello everybody, it's Chandler Harp out on the Greenway. It's a beautiful evening. Twilight. We've got a phenomenal sunset here. I'm looking towards the west. I'm under the lamp posts. We've got a nice lighted greenway that uh, has a wonderful 10-foot trail, 10-foot wide trail. And uh, we're looking here to the west, which is property owned by the state, uh, fenced off, unfortunately, but for good reason. Um, they use pesticides and various chemicals in there, and they require a buffer zone between the use of pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and the recreational corridor. So here I am walking uh, to the north. I'm walking north and I'm on my town's recreational corridor and I hope, I do hope that your town has a corridor as well. Um, if not, here comes a user bicycle. Very cool, very cool. As we move down the greenway, you'll notice that to the right I have the bulk of the natural wild area and inside of that thicket uh, is a creek, a very important creek. Most greenways will run along creekways or basically include the creek the drainage areas of a community because it's the perfect application for a drainage corridor is a recreational trail alongside it. This is a very popular uh, design principle in urban planning uh, in today's time and should be incorporated more and more as we develop our wonderful nation and you know I just envision this kind of a experience you know I'm walking down a corridor I'm outside I already showed you how beautiful the sunset I mean look at this I mean I don't know where everybody is <laughs> it's Sunday evening and you know I understand that uh, it's time to get ready for Monday and whatnot I, on the other hand, need to make a few phone calls, and I'd rather just do it out here on the Greenway than sit in my studio. So I'm out here filming a short video just to document the the uh, the physical um, parameters of what a Greenway is. And so I'm going to make a few phone calls. I'm going to just enjoy myself out here. It is a little nippy and I have a hat and gloves and whatever I need. Uh, but it's not too bad. It's, it's quite nice. It's especially nice when I keep moving because that increases the body heat. It's good to pack some water, a snack bar. Here comes a bicyclist with a light and that's a good idea because I need to see bicyclists because they're moving quick much quicker than I am on foot and here we have a bicycle locked up to the lamppost not the best idea and the reason for that is that's a public utility it's not a place to chain a bike and there's probably my guess is somebody that's homeless in these woods right here and that's their bicycle uh, or I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. But the better option would be to bring the bicycle in the woods with you. <laughs> or uh, we need to make sure that people, number one, have a place to live and a place to sleep. And number two, make sure that the bike facility, such as this trail, bicycle corridors, make sure they have um, adequate places to stop, rest, unwind. Uh, change a flat, um, get a drink of water, eat a snack bar, and lock your bike up if you want to explore the wild areas to the uh, adjacent to the to the pavement. Um, please go ahead. The entire greenway is a park, but there needs to be a place to uh, an appropriate place to lock up a bicycle. 
because the lamp post is not that great of an idea. Here we have another bicyclist um, with a tail light, flashing red tail light. Definitely helps. You know, the lights are more for the purpose of uh, pedestrians and non-bicyclists, even other bicyclists, of course. But you know, basically to see the bike, not so much for the bike to see where it's going. So you know, those cyclists out there with that incredibly high density beam uh, that that gives me the feeling of you know possibly you know alien uh, abduction uh, around the corner <laughs> is really not necessary. Um, all you really need is uh, a light that is visible down the trail to people that are you know need to be aware that you're coming or. Here, here you are, but not so much to see. These lamps provide adequate light, and they're on 24 hours, which by the way, the city decided to, a while back, the city decided to cancel and turn the lights off at 11 p.m., which caused quite an uproar, I'm happy to say. There's that many people out here at night to make a difference and influence the city's government. So. They went ahead and made the lights on 24 hours, and I certainly think that's important. Um, there's, there's no sense in spending the money and the time installing uh, a greenway corridor if it's just going to be dark. Um, that, that really just adds a, a big security problem, and you know you can't patrol and chaperone these trails uh, like you can a a rectilinear city park so you know lights are very important um, it wouldn't hurt if there were some emergency phone uh, columns um, typically a blue column uh, with a a built-in emergency phone those can be placed around especially in this dark kind of desolate area where I'm you know I'm pinned in between uh, state property and a wonderful sunset. I'm not complaining. <laughs> awesome. I just love the sunsets at the latitude uh, where, I, where I'm located, which is about 36 degrees north. Um, and this trail, you know, this this wilderness over here is very dark. Uh, and, you know, it can be a little scary, and I can't even run if somebody comes at me, you know, from the wilderness there. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much I have to go forward or backward. I can't even run away because of that fence. So this is, you know, a critical area for security, but, you know, luckily I'm in a small college town. Um, it's the larger cities that need to be particularly, and you know, and I could be completely wrong. I'm just, I'm just going on uh, the odds of, of numbers. You know, you have a lot more people in the city. You have a lot more opportunity for things to go wrong, but you also have an opportunity for things to go extremely right, and that's what makes the city so awesome. And another cyclist is approaching front and back. Two cyclists from behind, one from ahead, and they are exercising their rights and their freedoms to recreate. Yay! Even on a Sunday evening. And I'm telling you, you know, these people are smart. They're going to feel so much better tomorrow morning at work when they get there because they had a great weekend and they capped it off with a little bike, bike ride down the trail. How nice, how awesome.